Let's quickly get you a shocking update we're tracking. This is once again with regards to how temples in Pakistan continue to be targeted. Two Hindu temples have been desecrated in Pakistan within 24 hours. In fact, the Koids allegedly attacked the temple with rocket launchers. And this is a 150-year-old temple. This is the first incident, 150-year-old temple raised to the ground in Karachi. In the second incident in the meanwhile, Miscreants opened fire at the temple adjoining several homes. Now, in a second such incident in the two days, last two days itself, viewers, a temple constructed by local Hindu community in Sindh's Kashmore area has come under attack. We're talking about the second incident in just the last 24 hours. This comes, remember, days after Dakoits warned of attacks on Hindu places of worship in retaliation against Seema Haider, who, remember, recently travelled to India. But a gang of Dakoits targeting a Hindu temple in the southern Sindh province of Pakistan on Sunday, marking this the second incident of uh, vandalism against a place place of worship belonging to the minority community in less than two days. Also picking up a couple of reactions. Let's quickly listen in. Rocket launcher se hamla karna aur 30 hindu ko bandhak banaye jana durbhag purna hai. Bharat sarkar se apil hai ki tatkal waha ki hindu ki suraksha ke liye chinta karein. Nahi to hum log road pe utrenge. और यहां के मुसलमानों को भी जीना दुश्वार कर देंगे। Like we said, the two attacks that have taken place in little over 24 hours. The Pakistan Human Rights Commission has also confirmed that Hindus are being held hostage in Sindh. Around 30 members of the Hindu community, including women and children, have been taken hostage by armed gang in Kashmir and Ghotki districts in the Sindh province. The assailants reportedly launched their attack on this temple constructed by the local Hindu community, as well as neighboring homes owned by members of the minority community. This is, of course, in the Kashmir more area of Sindh province and the incident followed the destruction of the Mari Mata temple in Soldier Bazar in Karachi. So two incidents once again reiterating that have taken place in Pakistan itself. As far as the Mari Mata temple in Soldier Bazar is concerned, bulldozers raised the structure to the ground under the supervision of heavy heavy presence as well. Now the temple is believed to be a 150 year old temple. It's been declared old uh, and dangerous in Karachi. The assailants indiscriminately on Sunday fired upon the temple which was closed during the attack. Now in response, a police unit led by Kashmir Kandkot SSP also swiftly arrived at the scene. So some of the inside details the Times does manage to access. And the police of course maintaining that the assailants used rocket launchers during the attack. The temple, remember, typically opens annually for religious services conducted by the Bagri community. But very, very shocking details that have come to light. Let me go across to Pradeep Datta who's tracking these two episodes very closely for us. Uh, Pradeep, before we open this up to our guests and really taking a perspective on the pattern that is coming to light, that is emerging, uh, two Hindu temples and all have been desecrated. All of this has happened within 24, a little over 24 hours. What can you tell us? Put this entire sequence in uh, perspective for us. Yes, you're absolutely uh, right that uh, two temples have been targeted in Pakistan. One of the temples was targeted in uh, Karachi area, there's a soldier uh, name. And the other temple was targeted in Kashmir uh, district uh, in Kankot Street. And uh, see, this clearly indicates that uh, kind of insolvency towards Hindus. And the temple that was targeted in Kankot area, they used heavy weaponry like rocket launchers, they used heavy weaponry to target them. Basically, this was a revenge attack because Seema Haidri, uh, one of the Pakistani girls, who had fled over to this side, uh, to Indian side, to marry a Hindu man. Basically, it was because of that reason that they targeted temple. See, there have been so many cases where the Hindu girls are my, uh, abducted in Pakistan. They're made to marry a man twice and thrice their age. At that point of time, they always try to justify things. But here in this case, uh, Seema Hadley crossing over to Indian side, where she wanted to marry a Hindu man because both of them met on PUBG and uh, through social media. And now they wanted to take revenge. For that, they targeted Hindu temple in Kankot area. They used heavy weaponry. They used a rocket launchers and already we have seen that for the last three four days there had been threats coming from uh, the several Islamist jihadi elements in Pakistan and the second temple was targeted in Karachi where they tried to demolish temple here in this case see how the state is involved that this is an ancient temple the temple was sold uh, for constructing a shopping mall and a shopping plaza uh, that has to come up in that area they use the JCP machine and do that and this clearly shows that uh, how the system is involved systematically they are trying uh, to uh, 
and take uh, action against the Hindus, but no action is taken against those elements who try to abduct Hindu and Sikh girls in Pakistan. That has been continued for the last several years. If you look at the data also, mm. uh, it used to be 35% population in 47. It has come down to about 1.5%. Why this is happening? Because often we have seen that either Hindu girls are abducted, either the temples are being targeted, because this is a systematic attack on the community. This only highlights the problem of trauma, tragedy, and terror that is continuing against the Hindu community in Pakistan. But unfortunately, our people here are not able to see this thing. The Prime Minister wanted to have CA. There were several political parties who were opposing to it. They said it was discriminatory. Basically, he was extending olive branch to all those communities who have been suffering like Buddhists, Jains, Hindus, Sikhs, because they had been uh, the one who had been suffering for the last several decades uh, because of Islamic jihadis there in Pakistan and systematically how uh, the government and the administration there had been also uh, supporting them. But uh, politics was played over that issue. And... Uh, hmm. Okay. It was only to help these people who had been suffering a lot because they wanted to extend the Molly branch so that they can come out of this place, they can settle down mm -hmm. here. Though some of them have got citizenship but not, okay. mostly the people continue to suffer, especially we have seen the condition and plight of the girls and see where you can't even go yes. through the temples of your faith, where the temples are being targeted, your women are being targeted, mm -hmm. the girls are being targeted. So you can very well understand. And the same part that keeps on... Absolutely. And, and the establishment's order. role and nod is very, very clear as well. The involvement is for everyone to see. Thank you for that, Pradeep.